Today I'm going to teach you a mental math method called the break apart method. First, let's review the purposes of mental math. You'll use mental math to compute quickly and to find an answer when you can't use pencil and paper, a calculator, or manipulatives. You might ask, why is my teacher asking me to show my work? That's because she wants to know if you understand how to do it. I did it in my head is not an acceptable explanation. Be specific and tell how. You might ask, how do I break apart numbers? There are two ways, one with place value and one without. Let's look at the example of 237 plus 421. I've labeled my digits hundreds, tens, and ones. First I'll add two hundreds plus four hundreds for a sum of 600. Next I have three tens or 30 plus two tens, 20, for a sum of 50. Finally, I have seven ones plus one one equals eight ones. When they add them together, my ones place zero plus zero plus eight is the sum of eight. My ten digits, zero and five, add up to five. I only have one hundred digit six, so my sum is six hundred fifty-eight. Let's look at an example without place value. One hundred forty-five plus thirty-nine. I'll break about part thirty-nine into numbers five and thirty-four. This is because I want to make a 10, and as you can see, the 5 and 145 plus 5 will make a new 10, 150. And I know that any number that ends in 0 is easy to add in my head. So I have 150 plus the remaining 34, and I get a sum of 184. You can see how they're slightly different. You choose which way works best for you and the problem you're given. Now let's look at subtraction using the break apart method. My problem is 98 minus 15. Once again, I'll label my digits. In this case, I only have two digits, tens and ones place. Nine tens is 90, minus one ten, 10 equals 80. Next, I have eight ones minus five ones equals three. And I'll add up those two differences, 80 plus three equals 83. Here's another example without place value. I'm going to subtract 15 from 98, but I'll break it apart into 10 and 5. That's because I can easily subtract 10 from 98. And as you can see, the answer is 88. But I'm not done yet. I still need to subtract the remaining 5. 88 minus 5 equals 83. And as you can see, two different ways to break apart numbers using place value with subtraction. Now let's compare addition and subtraction. Do you see any difference? Not much. The main difference is when you're breaking apart numbers without using place value. Again, you have to decide which is the best method for your problem and yourself when doing mental math. 